In this video, I'm going to show how you can take a 3D model that was created either in AutoCAD 3D or, you know, sort of a, another package that has been converted to DWG and open up an AutoCAD LT and then be able to produce 2D drawings from maybe a view, front view, side view, top view, isometric view. So as you can see, this is AutoCAD, the full AutoCAD or 3D, where I can actually rotate my model around. I can also use the view cube to go take a look at what is happening over here. So with this, if I go to my AutoCAD LT and open this up, well, let's take a look at the differences on how we can actually navigate around this model. So opening up AutoCAD LT and open up the desk, we'll see there that the last known view sits over here. Now, with this view over here, if I want to go and rotate it, and normally if you to rotate it in or orbit in AutoCAD 3D, it's shoulder down shift and the middle mouse button. But what this does, it just brings up the temporary object snap uh, right click menu. So this is not what I want. This is not what I need to be able to orbit this. So to see the different views, type in view and enter. And on this view manager over here, you can see there that I've got a couple of different options, current view, model views, layout views, and some preset views. Now, if I created some model views in in the uh, in the AutoCAD, then it would have been available for me over here. But what I'm going to use here is just the preset views. So with this, I'm going to take a look at the right view, set current and apply. And you'll see there it gives me the right view of this object over here. If I want to rotate this, I can, but only in a 2D sense. So if I go to my rotate command, you'll see there that I can select either one or all of the objects and actually rotate it around. Now, I'm able to rotate this in 2D because if you look in the bottom left-hand corner over here, you'll see there my UCS, the X runs to the right and the Y runs up and down. If I wanted to rotate in another fashion, then I'd actually have to change the orientation of my UCS. So I'm going to go and put this view into one of my layouts. So selecting layouts, and I'm going to go create a viewport from my insert view command. This is new since about 2018. Select what I want and then right click and bring it in over here. Now, if I say, well, for instance, want my, my front view. So let's go back to the view command and let's go select the front view. Set current, apply. Okay. Now, if I go back to this layout one, and I try this to do the same thing, insert view, you'll notice there that it's still showing me my side view. Now, what you can do to get the front view is open up a new layout, okay? And then go do the same insert view from your layout and then you'll see your front view over there. Select what you want and bring it in. Now, copy this view into from your layout two into your layout one. And there we have it. Now, there are also different scales. So what I do is just see what scale this is, three quarters to one inch. And this is one to one one. So I'm going to do that. And then it goes and resizes it. Then I can just move my, my viewport in line with me other viewport over here. And that's how we take a 3D object and bring it into AutoCAD LT and then go and stick different views in like your front view, side view, or any other preset views that you've created in AutoCAD um, 3D. Thank you very much for watching.